your first look at high school football scores and highlights. This is First Down Friday Night with the WZDX Sports Team. Sponsored by Zaxby's. The temperatures outside have been extremely hot this week, but so has the action on high school football. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to week three of First Down Friday night. we got some great highlights coming your way right here on this great show. Yeah, that's right. Region play is underway for just about everyone, so it's important to get off to a great start. Absolutely. Our third member of our sports team, Kayla Carlisle, she's on location at our First Down Friday night varsity game of the night. Here's a sneak preview. Tonight is the 86th meeting between these two teams, and we're calling it the Wildcat Showdown. I'm talking Scottsboro versus Gunnersville. I'll have highlights from this game coming up in just a few minutes. Mo? All right, Kayla, looks like we're in for another solid night of football. We will start off with some great games from around the action, around the way. And don't forget, you can check out our scores on our scrolling ticker. Now, there have been a few surprises in seven, Class 7A Region 4, and that's where we'll start our coverage out tonight. Of course, uh, this week we've got Sparkman and Grissom going at it. Of course, Grissom had a bad loss last week, trying to bounce back tonight against the Senator. Senator's up 26 to nothing at the half. Third play of the third quarter. Jalen Atkinson racing 54 yards deep inside of Tigers territory. Charity, I thought he was going to score, but he ran out of gas. But then the Grissom uh, defense coming through on a big stop on third down. Jacobian Dobbs takes it on the option, but he's tackled for a loss by Cahill Sanders, and that would force a punt by Sparkman. But Grissom's offense could not get into rhythm tonight. On third down, Jacob Foss, he rolls out, throws a pass, but it falls incomplete on third down. Let's check out your final score in this one. Yes. Sparkman goes on to win tonight by a final score of 45 to 6. Next week, the Senators will take on Huntsville, while Grissom will take on Austin. Another matchup in that same region featured Bob Jones this evening as they hosted Florence. Falcons knocking on the door early on with their running back, Javavian Griffin, taking the hand up, finds pay dirt on a short touchdown run. The Falcons take a 7 to nothing lead. Now, Bob Jones, they get a great kickoff return, but their drive will stall, and uh, Jacob Fruwall comes through and nails a 30-yard field goal, putting Bob Jones on the board. But... Charity, I will tell you about this guy from Florence. His name is Demarcus Beckwith. He plays quarterback, and he is a great athlete. Look at him. Get out of trouble. Says, you know what? I'm just going to just tuck it and take off and run. Picks up all kinds of yardage before he is taken down deep inside of Patriots territory. And, hey, if it ain't broke, then let's run it again. And once again, it's Beckwith, the guy who has a scholarship offer from Florida for basketball and football, taking it to the house for his score on that one, 21-3 when our cameras left Madison City School Stadium. Let's check out your final score in this one at Florence. All over Bob Jones tonight by a final score of 55-24. to Bob Jones will take on Gadsden City next week. Florence will take on James Clemens. And staying with Class 7A, the Austin Black Bears are off to a pretty hot start this season. They went into tonight's game 3-0, hoping to keep that win streak alive as they took on Gazden City. Now, Gazden City, they are 0-3 this season, so they're looking for their first win. Let's go ahead and see how this would play out. We're starting in the first Austin's ball. Quincy Crittenden hands it off to Javon Jackson, who gained some pretty good yardage on this play. But this drive would stall, so they would kick a field goal. Timo Vasquez with the kick, and it is good. That puts the Black Bears on the board, 3-0. In the second, now Austin with the ball. Quincy Critted and hands it off once again to Javon Jackson. He gained some good yardage before being taken down. Next play, it's Jackson again. This time, he runs it up the middle. This would be good for a Black Bears touchdown. Score at this point was 10 nothing. but let's go ahead and take a look at that final score. Austin goes on to win it 17-6 next week. Austin will be taking on Grissom. And over at Lewis Cruz Stadium, James Clemens taking on Huntsville, and this one wasn't pretty. Jets Dylan Blackburn takes a handoff. He finds the hole, and he is gone. He takes it all the way to the end zone. James Clemens strikes first 7-0. to zero. A little bit later in the first quarter, Jets with the trickery. Connor Cantrell lobs it down the field to a wide open Christopher Hope. He's seeing nothing but green. James Clemens taking the lead now, 14 to zero. And like that song says, ain't no stopping him now. <laughs> Contrail once again to Hope. Look at this amazing one-handed catch, guys. What a play. Let's take a look at the final score. James Clemens goes on to win it, completely crushing Huntsville, 49 to zero. Next week, Huntsville takes on Sparkman, and James Clemens will be taking on Florence. And guys, don't forget that we are on social media at Mo Carter WZDX, at Kayla WZDX, and myself at Charity WZDX. Send us a tweet. 
We just might read it out on the air. All right, everyone, we got more coming your way, including the first down Friday night game of the week, which features Scottsboro and Gunnersville. We got that coming your way next. Right now, get 0 for 60 plus 1,000 trade assist cash on a 2019 Ford Escape, Edge Explorer, or Expedition, only at your local Ford dealer. Freedom. Hometown Lenders was founded right here in North Alabama. Four P's have made us one of America's fastest growing mortgage lenders. Now we're adding a fifth P, the Hometown Promise. If we don't close on time, you don't pay a dime. Yes, you heard that right, a guarantee from a mortgage company. On time, every time, or we refund 100% of our fees. It's the Hometown Lenders Promise, and it's waiting for you at hometownpromise.com. Their Bernays sauce here is the best in town. <clears throat> uh, what do you do for fun? Not this. Hmm. Oh, what am I into? Mostly Progressive's Name Your Price tool. Helps people find coverage options based on their budget. Flo has it, I want it, it's a whole thing. And she's right there. Yeah, she's my ride. These dates, lame. He has pics of you on his phone. No, <laughs> they're very tasteful. Estate jewelry is very popular. We do have a wonderful selection of estate jewelry. And one of the really nice things about our antique and estate pieces is that we do have a master jeweler who actually takes the time to thoroughly inspect them before we put them out for our customers. And any necessary um, repairs or modifications that need to be done are done before the customer picks those items out to, to take home with them. Wholesale jewelry. Big store. Little prices. Hey, everybody, it's back! Plankin? Phone holsters. Denim on denim? On denim on denim? No, the sensation is back at Zaxby's. I'll call ahead. The Zensation Salad is back. And introducing the new Zensation Filet Sandwich Meal with hand-breaded chicken, Asian slaw, wonton strips, and citrus vinaigrette. Both served with an egg roll. The Zensation Salad and Filet Sandwich Meal. Only at Zaxby's. On denim on denim. Need more sports? Check out 97.7 The Zone. Now, back to the action on First Down Friday Night. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to First Down Friday Night. Mo Carter and Charity Chambers in the building now. Charity, we had a cat fight on our hands tonight down in... Scottsboro, man. Yeah. Scottsboro versus Gunnersville, longtime um, robber. I think they've been playing for like more than 70 something I was years. Say, about 80 years. That's crazy. Exactly. That means they got some history behind that, oh, right? Yeah, for sure. Well, guess what? We have a history fact checking person on our sports <laughs> oh, department we do. We do. in we our do. team, and that is the one and only Kayla Carlisle. Yeah. She joins us now <laughs> from Scottsboro. So, Kayla, tell us about the Battle of the Big Cats. Thanks, guys. I mean, I actually had a couple of matchups tonight, but like you said, we're going to start with the Wildcats versus the Wildcats, otherwise known as our varsity game by Zaxby's. Now, this was the 86th meeting between Gunnersville and Scottsboro. Now, Gunnersville takes the cake, though, with the most wins all time, 45 total wins over Scottsboro. Scottsboro comes in close, though, with 39 wins. So let's check out and see if Scottsboro can get their 40th win against Gunnersville. Last year, Gunnersville took home this win. This year, Scottsboro head coach Don Jacobs is looking to change that. In the second quarter, score is 14 to 7 Scottsboro, and both teams, well, they struggled to advance the ball down the field. It was pass after pass and missed catch after missed catch, not to mention a handful of very close calls. But then Scottsboro defense decided to step it up. Check out this play. Gunnersville QB Zach Burnett takes the snap. He goes for the pass and boom, down goes Jack Harris the third thanks to an incredible tackle by Noah Linville. And then shortly after that, Zach Burnett feeling the pressure. He does the go around, he misses some tackles, but then he finally goes down thanks to Cameron Wyden. Some very great defensive effort made by Scottsboro. Here's a look at that final score real quick. And quickly over to Galesville at Woodville. A crazy game this was early on. Let's take a look at the first quarter 
first drive. Woodville with the ball. Jackson Pete hands off to Davion Johnson for an epic gain. He cannot be touched. He just swerves in and out. That's a first down, Panthers. Now they're set up for this. Pete goes for the long pass to Johnson in the end zone. Panthers would score. They missed the extra point, so they just go up 6-0. And then check out this crazy play. I couldn't leave this one out. Galesville takes the snap and hands it off, but the Trojans get stopped, and Pete flicks the ball out of his hand to gain possession, and, man, he goes for this one. No one is there to stop him. He makes it all the way to the end zone, but unfortunately a flag was thrown, and the touchdown would not count, but the Panthers would keep possession. What a crazy play that was. Like I said, I just could not leave that one out. So let's go and check out a, your final score for Galesville and Woodville. There it is right there. Now, going on to next week, Gunnersville will be hosting a wrap. While the other three schools, they're going to hit the road. Scottsboro is at East Limestone. Woodville at Appalachian. Galesville at Valley Head. We're reporting live in Scottsboro tonight, I'm Kayla Carlisle. Guys, back to you. All right. Thank you yeah. so much, Kayla. Looks like she had some fun times out there tonight. Oh, yeah. I had some fun times, too. I was out covering Randolph versus Priceville, among some other things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was pretty, pretty good games out there today. Let's go ahead and roll those highlights, though. Both teams coming off of their first wins of the season. Going into the third quarter, Priceville leads 14-6, to and they come out of the locker room hot. Wyatt Hurt hands it off to Jerry Burton. He has a couple of good blocks, picks up some good yardage before finally being brought down. That would set them up for this. Hurt with the handoff to Jackson Cross, who glides into the end zone untouched, making it look way too easy there. Bulldogs going for two points. Once again, they are keeping it on the ground. Burton this time runs it in for two, extending Price Bulls lead 22 to six. Raiders not backing down though. Jackson Wright takes the handoff and picks up the first down for Randolph. Couple plays later, Major Dwyer passes it to Braden Buller, and look at this. He cuts across the middle, hits the stutter step, and he is gone. He takes it all the way to the house for a Raiders touchdown. Oh, no. Let's take a look at that final score. Priceville goes on to win it with a final of 42-24. to to Bill Washington Stadium where there was a full moon out tonight as Madison Academy hosted a brewer. You know, it's also Friday the 13th, so some, some weird things happened on there. Patriots, they're shooting for their first 3-0 start since 1980. Mustangs up 17-3 when Avery Seaton calling his own number, finding pay dirt for Mustangs touchdown. Madison Academy up 24-3. Brewer puts together a good drive, but it was stalled, but Cole Craddock coming on and booting a 40-yard field goal, and it's good, everybody. 24-6 Patriots trip in this one as Steve Moulton and the crew from ESPN 97.7 look on. Impressive play coming up right here. Look at Seaton. He's got all the time in the world and launches a prayer wow. and it is answered by Jackson Hersler and play results in a 64 yard catch. Good play for that one, and that would set up this. Josh Malone fighting pay dirt on the touchdown right here. 31 to 6 at that point. Well, our cameras left that game. Let's check out your final score in that one. Madison Academy goes on to win by a final of 44 to 16. Next week, Madison Academy will take on Ardmore, while Brewer will take on Madison County. All right, everybody, we got more WZDX first down Friday night coming your way after the break, including some more local action, and we'll also hook you up with our Spirit of the Week. Stay with us. We're kicking off a new season with 9760 total savings or zero APR for 72 months on the number one truck in the Tennessee Valley, Chevy Silverado. At your Tennessee Valley Chevy dealers, the all-American Silverado is the strongest, most advanced ever. More powerful, more spacious and comfortable with built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi, wireless charging, and more. Get 9760 total savings or zero APR for 72 months. Number one in the Tennessee Valley. See your Tennessee Valley Chevy dealers. Do you know what your child is doing online? WZDX knows that protecting children is a top priority. Dangerous online predators pose a very real threat to our young people. But together, we can help protect them. The CyberSafe Parent Program from Redstone Federal Credit Union, SAIC, and WZDX is your resource to combat online threats. Look for special features on WZDX News and visit rocketcitynow.com to learn more about keeping your family cyber safe. Lawler's Barbecue started out as a single drive through and now we have 13 locations in the Tennessee Valley area. Cook slow, serve fast, and you can always expect our Tickle Pink service. What I like is the pork sandwich. I just can't live without this Lawler's baked potato. What I like is the ham stuffies. I like the ribs. They're the best around. 
pull right off the bone. And everybody really likes their ice cold Pepsi from Buffalo Rock Pepsi. The world's first six function multi pro tailgate, available only on the next generation GMC Sierra. Step up to GMC and get over 10,000 total value on this next generation 2019 Sierra Crew Cab SLT. Plus, well qualified buyers get 3.8% APR financing for 72 months. Tailgate like a pro. GMC. This one's just right. Nature's own bread goes from scratch to shelf in about 48 hours. This one's just right, too. So every bite is just right. If you keep feeding her like this, she'll never leave. <sighs> Nature's own goodness is in our nature. WZDX Sports Extra, Sunday night at 10, only on WZDX. Now, more scores and highlights from across the valley on First Down Friday night. Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's now time for our Spirit of the Week, a segment where we show the love to the bands and the fans who show up and show out each and every Friday night. Oh, yeah. This week's winner goes to the marching band of East Limestone. Now, of course, at East Limestone, they're under the direction of Jennifer Jansen. Year in and year out, they participate in multiple showcases in both the states of Alabama and Tennessee. And, of course, they're going to have that very big band showcase coming up um, that's going to feature all kinds of North Alabama high schools, I know it's coming up very, very soon because we've already started getting uh, notifications about that. Of course, you can always hear those Seminole War chants from this band as well. So congratulations to East Limestone for earning our Spirit of the Week charity. I'll send it back to you. All right. Well, the Muscle Shoals Trojans have had quite the showing this season, completely dominating their games, beating all their opponents by 25 points or more. Tonight, they're taking on Hartsill, who's 1-2 and two on the season. Now. Last year, this game was won by just one point. Hearts will take it at 15 to 14, but it's a new year, new teams, and I gotta say, Muscle Shoals came to play. Noah Lawler sacked by Malik Smith. He fumbles the ball. Trojans eventually recover it in very good field position. So Muscle Shoals on offense now in Nebraska commit Logan Smothers with the dime across the middle to Michael McIntosh. He stopped one yard shy of the touchdown. A false start penalty moves him back to the six yard line. Not a problem though, Smothers. Rolls to his right and finds McIntosh again, this time in the end zone. This was a nice throw on the move there. Trojan strike first, 7 to 0. And once they get to rolling, it's kind of hard to stop them. Smother showing why he's one of the top dual threat quarterbacks in the nation. He calls his own number. And guys, he's just making this look way too easy. Way too easy. Way too easy. Big game for the Trojans there. And that would put them in good scoring position. Once again, Mo Smothers hurting him with his legs. He runs it in for easy money making it 14 to 0. But let's go ahead and take a look at the final score. Muscle Shoals ends up winning it 35 to 14. Next week, Hartsville has a bye. Muscle Shoals take it on Mae Jemison. All right, let's take it down the road now. Decatur playing host to Athens tonight at Ogle Stadium. We'll start off in the third quarter. 20 to 7, Athens up. Decatur with the ball. Turner step. We'll complete the cast to uh, Jalen Brown. Getting the Raiders close to the goal line. And guess what? The fans are very excited about that one. But that would end the third quarter. So let's go to the fourth. Decatur still with the ball. Step hands it off to Chase Jones. He picks up good yardage before being taken down near the goal line by Jeremiah Rice. But on the next play, Step hands the ball off, but he fumbles. 
fumbles it, and it is oh. recovered by the Golden Eagles. Talk about a wow. play that can turn around momentum for a team yeah. in this one. Let's check out your final score in this one, everybody. Athens goes on to win by a final 27 to 14. Next week, Athens will take on Hazel Green, while Decatur will take on Lee. How about some Thursday night action? It was the battle of CHS as Coleman was taking on Columbia. We'll pick things up in the second quarter. Coleman already up 14 to nothing. Quarterback Hunter Marshall goes deep looking for a man, but he's intercepted by oh. Dustin Speak of Coleman. So they take over right there at the 39 yard line. Two plays later, Coleman will strike. And it's Jalen Hughie bursting up the middle. Nothing but space and opportunity in front of him. And number six will score six on that touchdown right there, making it 21 to nothing. Coleman up on top. Now, Columbia will go three and out on the next drive, and that allows JT Blackwood to have some great field position. He drives them all the way down into the red zone, then finds Braden Scroggins for another touchdown. All right, let's check out your final score in this one, everybody. As Columbia's uh, losing streak continues, they fall last night by final of 48 to zero. All right, Charity. All right. Uh, All right, I got you. Coming up after the break, there's still more highlights coming your way, and we'll also find out who won last week's MVP of the week. Stay with us. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book Fair Market Value for any trade at University Kia. New 2019 Kia Rios are just $13,995 or just $199 a month with zero down payment. Only at University Kia. You didn't come here for this or to waste that. You came here to be this, to do that, to find your passion, your purpose. See, when you get here, you feel it. And when you leave, you take it all with you. This is where you get it becomes I got it. And when you got it, that's when it really gets going. Still following? Good. Because soon you'll be leading. That's why here will take you there. And there is what here is all about. Jacksonville State University. You just know. When is a clearance a clearance? Easy. When it's Honda clearance at Honda of Decatur. It's easier here with 2.9 during clearance time. 2.9 financing for up to 60 months on 2019 Honda Accord, Honda Pilot, CRV, or Odyssey. We'll see you in September with 2.9 during clearance time. Lower overhead, lower pricing. The savings are always greater at HondaOfDecatur.com and on Beltline Road. I started my own accounting firm five years ago, and the hours that I work during tax season are brutal, especially on my husband and my children. So last spring, I was in Avadian talking to Lynn about my business and how I never see my family. Well, she tells me to call my husband and have him bring the kids to the office that night, and Avadian would provide our family dinner. <laughs> Who does that? That's Avadian. They make you feel special. Ever since I was a child, my family has come out to the lake. Now that I have kids, I want to carry on that tradition because family is important. My parents are still a big part of my life. They never miss a trip. They've trusted Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama with their health insurance for years. They know they're covered wherever they go. And I'm glad I can provide that same health insurance for my family. Offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book Fair Market Value for any trade. Now available, the all-new 2020 Kia Telluride, a passenger SUV with touchscreen display, backup warning, and much more. Only at University Kia. Catch my latest pinpoint weather forecast on the go. Download the WZDX weather app today. Now back to the action on First Down Friday night. that Brooks score? What was it? 72 to 20. It's like oh. the second time they scored over 60 <laughs> oh points in like a three-week span. 
Like those guys, basketball numbers. Exactly. <laughs> those guys playing some offense out there in the shows area. Oh, yeah. Now, out in Fort Payne, la tonight you had the Wildcats playing host to Mae Jemison. You may recall last year, Fort Payne won on a Hail Mary. Could things be different? Let's check things out tonight out in Fort Payne. Wildcats host to Mae Jemison. Hunter Love will score on a short TD run right here, and that'll put uh, Fort Payne up seven to nothing. Now, Mae Jemison with the ball, they drive it all the way down to Fort Payne territory. But unfortunately, Charity, there is a bad snap wow. inside the 10 yard line. And uh, Docky Goodman of Fort Payne will recover. That's a big blow for the Jaguars. So that would lead to this. Darwin Kemp taking the handoff and he finds pay dirt. It's number seven getting six points right there. 14 to nothing at that point. Let's check out your final score in this one. Fort Payne goes on to win in a squeaker wow. again. They beat Mae Jemison this time by a final of 31 to 30. Next week, Mae Jemison will take a muscle shows. God, that's going the defense gonna have to step it up against them while Fort Payne actually has a bye week. All right, guys, Albertville versus Buckhorn. We're going to start things off early in the first. Buckhorn's Raiden McNeil targets Austin Willis Wilson for a nice gain down the sideline. Look at that. Two plays later, the quarterback and wide receiver aren't really on the same page, setting up an easy interception for oh, Albertville. Man. Picked off by Cameron Nesbitt. He's going to get a few yards before being taken down. But Buckhorn's defense, they are going to show up on the bobble snap and linebacker Daniel Scott records a sack right there. Later in the first, Buckhorn's Brandon Turner finds the edge for a great run down the left sideline for a big gain. Almost hits our Right into your living room. Oh yeah, man. gotta love it. Buckhorn stays with the running game. Raylan Woods finds a hole up the middle to pick up the first down. And two plays later, it's Woods again bulldozing his way into the end zone, pitting Buckhorn up 7-0. Now we're going to go to the second quarter. Buckhorn again, they're going to use the run game to slash Albertville. Brendan Turner with a pretty big run right here. This is going to set them up inside about the 10 yard line. Look at him go. Absolutely. This guy was a blazer last week against Hazel Green. Man, kind of hard to stop him on third and goal from the four. Raylan Woods makes it look easy. Running over defenders for the score, putting Buckhorn up at this point 14 to zero. But let's take a look at the final. Buckhorn would go on to win it. 24 to 7. Next week, Albertville takes on Coleman, but Corn takes on Wetumpka. All right, everyone, we'd like to acknowledge our week two first down Friday night MVP of the week, and it goes to Austin High School quarterback Quincy Crittenden. Yeah, last week he had 343 passing yards, three touchdowns, and the game winning touchdown in Austin's 30 to 25 victory over Florence. And I got to say, man, this Austin High School team looking pretty good this year, Mo. Absolutely. And Class 7 ADL looking very good. And who's the who knows? That win over Florence last week might be something that probably helps decide that region title, even though I think Sparkman will have something to say as they prepare for both Austin and Florence coming up in the upcoming weeks. So true. Nominations are open for the first down Friday night MVP of the week. If you think you know an athlete that is deserving of our first down MVP award, yeah, all right. You can email us at rocketcitynow.com with the player's name, school, position, and? Of course, stats. Absolutely. <laughs> we need those stats from the last game because that helps us determine it. And uh, we will let you know about who won that on Wednesday on yeah. WZDX Sports at 9. All right, everybody, thanks for joining us. Another edition of First Down Friday Night for the entire crew. I'm Mo Carter. She's Charity Chambers. You know, Kayla Carlisle, she was out in the field tonight. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. You've been watching First Down Friday Night, sponsored by Saxby's.